In this screencast, we'll be taking a look at installing Screenly OS E in resin.io. Now, I presume you've read through the blog post and followed all the instructions about setting up an application and also setting up an account. And of course, we use the Raspberry Pi 3 in setting up this container. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is set up an application name. Click on the Create New Application, and then you come through to a screen like this. You'll be using a bunch of these items on the left hand side to find out configurations and to enable certain actions. The first thing we need to do is to add a device. So if we click on add device, image that we're going to download onto an SD card with Etcher. Once you've downloaded the image, select image in Etcher. Make sure you've got the SD card of your machine. Click continue, flash it to the SD card. Now you'll notice in the background, now that I've powered up the device with the SD card in, that we have a device appearing and now it's gone online. Really super simple to download the resin SD card and install it literally appear within a few minutes of powering up the device and it connecting to the internet. So the next part requires you to understand Git and have that locally on your machine. And now we're gonna deploy a clone of the Screenly OSE into the container over on resin. So we're gonna go through these steps. All right, so let's do the first step and then we're gonna change into that directory. A fast way to make sure you use the correct login and the correct application name is to copy this git remote add line here on the right hand side and then the next thing we're going to do the last thing in this list is we're going to push that to the resin master so this can take a little while it took 10 minutes and 46 seconds to build and it's uploaded it to the resin server and you can also see there it's got the url for the actual app now i'm going to jump back over to the website you can see that it's installing downloading that into the container on resin.io right so another thing that we need to be doing right now changing a little setting in the gpu which is under fleet configuration so if we go here we're going to put in a new variable it's going to be resin host config gpu mem i'm going to set the value to 100 192 and click on add and you'll see that it appears below another thing we should do is if we go to actions we can click on enable all public device urls this will give us a public url where we can access the instance running of screenly ose okay after the downloading is finished you should get the uh, status online it should go through a reboot if we click through onto this device now you'll see that the device is up you get logs at the top right hand corner and then below that you've got a terminal ability to start a terminal and as long as you've changed the action over here to public url which if you go to this drop down click on go to public device url we'll open that in another tab and that takes us straight into our screenly device now that you have this up and running on your resin device i heartily suggest that you read the blog post about security considerations hope that was helpful if you have any questions whatsoever do get in touch with our support they're more than willing to help you thanks for watching today we'll see you soon